stuff that these people go over with these vehicles is unbelievable. I know. And some people don't make it over. They end up rolling down into the valley. Which fortunately I've never done. That's good. That's why I'm with you. Yeah. I'm optimistic, but cautious. It's like Reagan used to say. Yeah. Trust but verify. <laughs> Make sure you know know the answer before you start up that turn, or you can clearly see what the what the path ought to be before you put the pedal to the metal. Does that take you to engineer over there? Uh, it, it links up with a road that we'll see when we get up on top oh. here that takes you down uh, uh, to engineer. Okay. That's a yeah. That's dead end spur. Yeah. This is Alaska, Alaska Basin. Basin. So we'll get up here a little farther and you can see a road that goes off toward Engineer. This is some scenery. It is. And look how this, well they call that schist. Schist? Yeah, it's busted up shale that breaks loose and under pressure of snow and ice and it just comes down the side of the huh. mountain through, through all the all the the growth you know it just comes right over the top of it told you, you know, it said Silverton, Animus Forks, uh, Corkscrew, I don't, I don't know, you know, a lot of times, the, you know, they disappear, so I don't know if they're still. But it's right down there. Yeah, it's right down, right down there, there's a junction right down there. That's another pinochle point. 
and then it's downhill to uh, Animals Forks. And they're going down that way. Well, they'll get all the way down there and they'll just keep going and going and going and they'll say, where in the hell is Animals Forks? And then they'll call us up and they'll say, well, you took a long turn there, bud. to know what the sign says. It says caution. Caution. Don't come down here unless you're driving a Jeep. Okay, see, Silverton, Corkscrew, Hurricane, Poughkeepsie Gulch, steep, rough road, high clearance, four-wheel drive. Okay, you just... That shale pile, yeah, right up that chute. Yeah, that chute there. We'll just go right up that puppy, like we know what we're doing. You do, don't you? <laughs> There's another sharp 90 degree here. They got a bench up there. Sitting down on something. Yeah. Now, the thing that's a little deceiving about this is a lot of people think as you're heading up here, you just continue straight on. But you don't want to do that. You want to take a hard right hand turn. Otherwise, you'll end up down in the valley. Really? road makes a sharp right here. Right here. Right here. But some people, you, you know, they just keep driving and they think, oh, the road must go. Well, I can't quite see the road over the hood, but it's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> California Pass. Geez, this is almost 13,000 feet. 12,096. that old boiler up here. I don't know. But those horses were straining in about 18, 1875, maybe 1878 time frame when they opened up these these mines. Those horses were straining and pulling that boiler up here. It's amazing what they did up here. I know. Oh, holy schmidt back. 
That was a surprise one there. This is a little bit of a doozy here. It's a doozer. Maybe go over to the left. As George H. W. Bush used to say, it'd be more prudent to go left. A prudent path to success. That's, that's right, I like that. Five mine mines there were five mines. Washes uh, washes all the soil away. You know. No wonder it's rough. The first cabin in Amos Forks was built in 1873, and by 1876 it became a growing mining community. The town in its heyday contained 30 cabins, a hotel, a general store, a saloon, and a post office. By 1883, 450 people lived in Animus Forks. Mining and processing mills helped the town grow, but when profits began to decline, the town no longer was justified. There was a brief rebound with the construction of the Gold Prince Mill, which stimulated interest in the town, but the mill closed in 1910, and by 1920, Animus Forks became a ghost town. You can see remnants of the town in the mining activity from our video, and if you visit, you can explore the town's history in more depth. You can travel to Amos Forks from Silverton in regular vehicles, but it is a slow, bumpy ride.